Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering advantages and disadvantages of DBMS. Guys, I have uploaded a complete DBMS subject tutorials. I will provide a link in the description you can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. First advantage is improved data sharing. DBMS enables multiple users to access and share data simultaneously from different locations leading to increased collaboration and better decision making. For example, there are three users. One user is from Hyderabad, one user is from Bangalore and one user is from Goa. Now by using database management system, all users can communicate by sharing data. Though if user is in any particular location, he can easily share data. Next advantage is data security. I already said before, data security is nothing but we can keep password over DBMS. Third advantage is data consistency. Consistency means correctness. In database management system, we can apply data constants. Constants are nothing but rules. This constants ensure that data is consistent and accurate. So data consistency, that is nothing but correctness of data can be achieved by using data constants in DBMS. Fourth advantage is backup. Database management system contains automatic backup. So even if any failure occurs, then we can easily recover data. And fifth advantage is controls data redundancy. Redundancy is nothing but duplication. Database will not allow duplicate values. All the data is stored in one place. So it is easy to identify duplicate values. Sixth advantage is data integrity. It is easy to integrate data by using DBMS. And seventh advantage is easy backup and recovery. I already said before, DBMS perform automatic backup. So even if any failure occurs, then we can easily recover data. Next, I will explain disadvantages of DBMS. First disadvantage is cost of software and hardware. DBMS is nothing but it is a software. So we need to purchase database management system software. It is costly. And similarly, cost of hardware. Guys, in our system, we need to use high-end processors. And also we need to purchase high memory hard disk, which is costly. And next disadvantage is complexity. Guys, normal user cannot use database because in database, we need to use structured query language. So DBMS is complex. And third disadvantage is size. In database, we will store huge amount of data. So large amount of storage space is required. So we need huge amount of memory in order to run DBMS efficiently. And fourth disadvantage is depends on DBMS vendors. Vendors are nothing but person who supplies database management system software. We cannot directly update database management system software. Vendors should keep on updating software. So it depends on DBMS vendors. For example, suddenly vendors left company or he discontinued business or he discontinued support of the product. At that time, there will not be any updates for our DBMS software. So dependency on DBMS vendor is one of the disadvantage. And fifth disadvantage is data security risk. We must configure and maintain our database management system properly. If we don't configure and maintain database management system properly, then hackers can easily hack our database. And sixth disadvantage is high impact of failures. Whatever the data that is present in my database, all the data is stored in one place. If any failure occurs, then all those data will be lost. This is another disadvantage. 